Good evening. A fourth day of searching in a massive area of the North Pacific, up and down the west coast of Vancouver Island, has turned up nothing. Four men on a fishing charter are still missing tonight. Three men from the U.S. Pacific Northwest and their guide from Vancouver Island set out from the northern tip of the island on Monday, and they have not been heard from since. The boat was just 10 kilometers offshore when it last checked in, and search crews say radar should have detected the vessel by now. A News reporter Andrew Johnson has the latest. It was supposed to go something like this, but instead of hauling in giant halibut, three men from the Pacific Northwest and their guide, 36-year-old Kevin Sturgis of Vancouver Island, are lost in a sea of fog. It is frustrating. It's thick. It's, it, it's thick. It, you know, the East Coast, West Coast, when the fog comes in, you just can't see much at all. Because visibility is so bad off the island's West Coast, a Buffalo aircraft and Cormorant helicopter from 19-wing Comox are not searching today. Instead, Coast Guard crews are joined by an aircraft reaching out with a very sensitive sensitive radar to pierce the fog, but coming up empty. Search coordinators say they are worried and surprised the boat hasn't shown up on radar and suggest the grey vessel may be blending in somewhere along the grey, rocky coast of the island. There's some explanations as to why it'd be pretty hard to find. It is aluminum, grey, maybe it has kelp on it. But a potential drift scenario would bring it out down in this direction. Rescue officials say the eight-meter boat that left Qualicum River's fishing charter and lodge in Winter Harbor on Monday morning was not equipped with an electronic position beacon known as an EPIRB. Would it have helped? By all means. An EPIRB on a vessel, if it uh, runs into distress, it's going to float free on its own and emit a signal picked up by the satellites to give us a location. RCMP have still not identified the three passengers on board with Guide Sturgis, but one of them is believed to be 53-year-old Peter Idlewine, who lives near Vancouver, Washington. And once the weather clears up, the search may widen to include U.S. waters and a return of personnel from Comox to take another look without radar. They are calling for some clearing trends in the next few days and we're not comfortable with just leaving it with uh, just the radar at this time. We'd like to have it clear out a bit and take a look with our eyeballs as well. Already four days old and growing more bleak with each passing hour, the search could continue into the weekend. In Victoria, Andrew Johnson, A News.